Hey everyone and welcome back to Bouncing Mountain. It's just the two of us. It's just the two of us. <laughs> we can we make it if we try. Just, just the two, two of us. Dustin and Brett. That's Dustin. I'm Brett. Welcome back to Bouncing Mountain. So we're playing a whole new game, a game neither of us have played, a two-player game. Fog of Love. Fog of Love. Fog, Fog of Love. Described as a romantic comedy in a board game. So a quick spoiler alert. This is one of this is like a game you can kind of only play once. They yeah. say they ha uh, the game comes with four stories. We're gonna play Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. It's raining morning. on me. So if you don't want to know how Sunday morning plays out, please dip on out of this video. Dip. Uh, if you're okay with it being spoiled for you, keep watching if you have no intention of playing this game. It is a $60 game, at least on Amazon. Woo! And it says it's estimated to be 60 minutes per play. Yeah. The so, 90 to 2 hours for, nine, the, for the first time. That's right. Ooh, so this video might be split up into parts. Who knows? Who knows? Also, we are going to be going, since neither of us have played this game, uh, this game is really nifty where it has, the tutorial is like as you play. So, there's some stuff I can read, but... Yeah. I think it's funner if we just play... Because, like, I was reading some of the... Tu I only read one card ahead, okay? And when I was reading the tutorial card, it actually does a really good job of explaining it. So, I think we might be able to get away with just doing the tutorial cards. Yeah, definitely. Uh, your first tutorial in Five of Love, you will play as two characters. Uh, we'll get into that a bit. But, if you want to... Uh, we, we said if you want to skip the tutorial, but I feel like this whole video is a tutorial. Yeah, I feel like we might end up breaking... And, like... If we were to say, hey, skip to the part where we're not playing a tutorial, uh, it'd be like, see you next video. <laughs> yeah, it'd yeah, be the end. Uh, do, 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 do. Even, though that's, 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 even though that's not my song anymore. I'm blue, you're pink. We don't know any of the rules. We don't know anything about this. I'm song. pink. I'm a D. I'm a die. <laughs> you're the singer pink. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, tutorial cards have three icons on them. Uh, a number-looking sign indicates the text uh, indicates that the text block consists of rules without any need of action on your part. Okay. There's a play button icon. This icon indicates that your text indicates actions you need to take when encountering these text blocks. Perform each bulletproof bullet. Each bullet point one after another, finishing all the instruction, instructions on one before beginning the next one so you got to finish a bullet and then go on to the next one got it and then there's kind of like a play with a line on it what do you call it a fast forward no it's not fast forward a play with it's, a like, a, it's like a resume it's like a resume oh yeah yeah it's like yeah it's like a resume a resume this icon indicates that the text block consists of an actions related to the tutorial itself they will always tell you how to proceed with the tutorial our first tutorial in fog of love you will need to play as two characters Take them through and take them through a st stormy romance. Ah! You are not playing as yourself, but as a fictional couple. You you will play scenes from your relationship and decide how to react to those situations. Okay. At the end of the game, you will discover how your relationship evolves or ends. Ooh. It is possible for both of you to be happy in the relationship or for the relationship to falter. But it's also very possible that one will be happy in the relationship while the other won't. Ooh, I like this. In this particular love story, you have just met and are now going on your first date. The player who last blew a kiss is the first player. Jesus, I don't know, seven years ago. You're in a relationship. <laughs> oh, you cheated. You took it. <laughs> Oh, hey, Katie. Oh, hi, Katie. I'm not having a romance with Dustin. Oh! Cut the footage! Hi, boys. And we're back! Whoa! <laughs> the player who last blew a kiss is the first player. And I blew one to my dog. Or to you. To me. Depending there on there were a lot of off-camera Depending on what lungs. footage we leave in. <laughs> the player should pick up and read out loud tutorial one on top of the sweet deck. Which I think you've already read. Sweet. But read it for me, too. So this is a play. This is something we got to do. Uh, pick up the next two cards in the sweet deck. These are your character cards. Take the card that matches your color. Place it in the appropriate slot. I believe that goes here. Oh, you're a girl. 
No, that's the Discord bot. That's your character song. There I you. was just kidding. <laughs> it was a joke. I was just kidding about everything. <laughs> it was a joke. Everything was a kid. Uh, both take the card that matches your color. Place it on the appropriate spot. Select the gender of your character by choosing which side the character is face up. Take one of your colored tokens and place it on the zero. Zero. A zero. A zero. Fog of Love is a game about a relationship and how satisfied your character is in the relationship. Most things you do in the game will influence this. The number you have on your character is your current satisfaction. Satisfaction is shown on cards like this and has like a little heart. Oh, cool. Let me see. Uh, it's a little red heart. Oh. The higher the number, the happier, the Hi. more satisfied you are in the relationship. Whenever you get effects like this, it'll show a plus two heart or a minus two heart. You move the token up or down the relevant number of spaces. So you could say that all we want is satisfaction. Well, I can't get none. I was thinking it was ever song. <laughs> <laughs> what song is Satisfaction. Oh, I was thinking, I can't get no. When you reach 10 satisfaction points, place the counter in the middle of the card for each 10 and then continue around the track. Can we get that? Can we get, can we get that ADR throughout the rest of the. Pick up! Pick up! And read the tutorial two card on top of the trade stick. Ooh, it's I do me. think. Do we have a discard? Problem? Yeah, that's your personal discard, and this is. I, yeah, or the, does it go here? Yeah, we'll put it over here. Scenes discard, so that's where that goes. Okay, hey, it told me to read it. But. Ah! Uh, you get to read. Traits card. Traits represent uh, who your characters are in their deep at, at their deepest personal level. First player, me, because I blew a kiss. Okay, last, all right, fine. Draw five traits. Second player, do the same. But One. you're getting all the traits. Two. Look at you. You've got Three. all of them. I'm a trade list. Four. I'm a trader. Five. Your turn. One, two, three. Six, nine. Pick up and read card tutorial three. Look for the number three on the serious deck. Okay, I don't want to read this. Do we have a discard pump? Like for that? I, I don't know. Put it in the personal discard. No, that's, yeah, we'll put it in the custom slot. Who cares? We're not using custom cards. Custom decks are for later. Traits. Your traits are the character's inherent personality traits. If you fulfill these, you are happy with the relationship i.e. you will increase hearts, or uh, satisfaction. Satisfaction. Trade goals can be individual or shared. You fulfill individual goals on your own while you depend on your partner's choices for shared goals. Traits give you per incentives to make certain types of choices in the game. Traits do not, however, bind you. Like in any romantic comedy, your character might change their personality later in the game. Select three out of the five traits you drew and place them in your card holder, uh, hidden from your co-player. So when selecting traits, don't choose cards with the same symbol pointing in opposite directions, as these can't be fulfilled. You should always avoid cards with the same symbol in the same direction. Wait, can you read that again? So don't choose cards with the same symbol in opposite directions or in the same direction. You want to try to use so there's like there's like different symbols on in, in on arrows and they correlate with these one two three four five six, these six uh, personality dimensions. We're trying, okay. So you want to choose three that I, are of different personality. I don't think I have the same. What Place, about the arrow? What did it say about the arrows? Uh, it just says select three out of the five traits and place them in your card holder. So it I doesn't thought, say. Oh, I thought it said don't pick something about the arrows. Yeah, it said when the, the select traits. Uh, don't choose cards with the same symbol pointing in the opposite directions, as these can't be fulfilled. You should also avoid cards with the same symbol in the same direction. These cards are harder to fulfill. This will be explained later. So, so you want different symbols in different directions. Exactly. Different symbols, different directions. Uh, so you never just, you just want to always not keep the same. Mine are so weird. Oh, I like this. Mine, mine are not... Like, if I were to make a character, I will not pick these cards. Alright, I like that one. That one looks... I don't know if it's fun or not. I don't know if it's... See, that's the thing, is I'm picking traits, and I'm kind of just guessing. I think I'm just kind of creating the character I like. Sure. Like, these are their kind of goals. Let's see. 
I don't know. I've, I'm on the... God, the traits I got are really... They, I could have made a complete garbage person, so... Mine are not great. Yeah. I mean, not great in the sense that I wouldn't have picked them. So yeah. What do we do? Then it? again, oh, it says, uh, pick up... It says, place the leftover cards beneath the traits deck. So oh. these go at the bottom of the traits deck. All right. Place and read the f tutorial card four. Pick and read the uh, fourth tutorial card, so you can read that one. <laughs> Dustin loses. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what is your job? The first player, which is me, draw three occupations. Second player, do the same. <sighs> Come on, you've got too many already. Oh, oh I lost them all. Dude, I if, swear to God, if you guys... <laughs> If you got a skateboarder or a surfer, I'd be so mad. Holy hell, I got a good one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, we're both gonna go. Well, okay. For now, ignore the icon on the card. Uh, both select one occupation, reveal simultaneously. Oh, this is fun. Okay, I Okay, need, I got mine. I, I need to figure out what I want to do. I'm gonna put mine a bag See, hey, it doesn't say do that quite yet. Okay, you're fine. Don't, don't break the rules. I'm not gonna break the rules. We gotta reveal simultaneously. So I am... I gotta go with my gut, right? It's like, I got I got two... I got a bunch of really cool ones, but I was like, I, I like... When I, when I look at my goals or whatever my character's traits are, I really like... This one really clicks with them. Okay, I should do that too. This makes it really fun. <laughs> I'm just imagining like a funny character. Yeah, I, I shouldn't make a funny one. So I'm gonna go with the more serious one that follows my traits more. Okay, three, two, one. one. Wedding planner, security guard. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say what my other one was, but I'm not sure if we Dude, should. Dude, we should. We should. I mean, well, let's make. Let's see the rest of it. First. Uh, both draw. Reveal simultaneously. Place on the occupation slot. Place the leftover cards beneath the occupation. Okay, list. so they're not gonna come back. So let, we can talk about them. Well, I only, I had one. I had politician, which I didn't want. Uh. I had TV star, Ooh. and I was like so close to it, but I was just like, mm, no, it's just gonna be. I had a good one weird. that was criminal. <laughs> just, I was so close to picking it, dude. If you'd have been criminal as security guard, I'm glad. But like my traits, crim criminal doesn't really go along. This with that. this game would have been real crazy. Pick up and read tutorial five from the features deck. Right. I'm sure it's just gonna tell us to pick up three or five. That's fine. First player, draw five. Second player, do the same. Uh -huh. Then pick up and read tutorial six. So I would. Oh, he didn't even get that. <laughs> I, didn't even, I got to read nothing. So it's at five, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Take the card and see how far you can get it up your butt. <laughs> okay. Think of the features card as the first thing you noticed or fell for it in your co player's character. In turn, select a feature from your. For your co-player's character. So, I'm picking for you, and you're picking for me. Oh, okay. This is like the first thing we notice, or the first thing we fall in love with. And you gotta pick three, right? Oh, sorry. It I'm says, in. uh... Select a feature. A? Whoa, just one. Ooh. I'm just... I'm doing it by bullet point. Uh... I got my... I'm trying to figure out what... I don't know what the... Uh, okay, uh, okay, this is... You guys are gonna love this one. <laughs> Ignore the symbols on the card for now. Place the feature on your co-player's side of the board. So, so what did you notice about me? Uh, I... No, Wait, so, does it say? No, th is, is when this what we notice about... Is... When, when, pl yeah, this is what you notice about me. Oh, okay. When placing the card, try to tell what it is about the feature... And that your character fell for, e.g., the first time I met you, I noticed your broad shoulders. I knew it would be the kind of person I was looking for. Oh, okay, that for, might make that makes. This me... is for you. Yeah, this is changing things. Uh, don't make up how you met. This will be done later. Just tell uh, what you notice about the other player. Continue back and forth until you both have selected few, three features. So okay. we will get to it, but we go one at a time. Okay. So uh, first, for you, I saw. Your old-fashioned clothes. Oh, my old-fashioned clothes. Yeah, you dress you, you dress very nice, very like old soul. Well, I noticed you have a very booming voice. Oh, very bassy, and you're just like you're loud, and you just you take control. Nice. And so we just do one. 
No, we, we continue back and forth until okay. we've selected three. Place the leftover cards beneath the futures deck. Uh, let's see. I also uh, saw that you were very muscular. Oh. Yeah, very muscular, very toned. I was like, I was into that. Well, I, I love accessories. And that's why I noticed your nose piercing. Oh! Was that? <laughs> <laughs> really popped out to me. And like, that's, that's, <laughs> that's something I like. Oh. <laughs> I kind of want to give you a fun one now. Hey, do what you want. What did uh, you notice about me? I also noticed that, like, you're very muscular, very, you know, well-dressed, very old, but you're also very short. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like... A muscular, like, well-dressed, short you know, I like a stocky, small guy, you know? Yeah. So when I... <laughs> and I noticed, and I like this guy, I like how you take, you take time with your slow speaker. You're very slow with your words. <laughs> I'm a booming... <laughs> I've got a really booming voice, but I talk <laughs> slow. Yeah. <laughs> <Those piercings. laughs> That's oh, hey, great. Oh, hey, Brody. Oh, hey, Brody. And then we put the features underneath. <laughs> I'm so... I'm trying so hard not to just be like, to fuck you. Yeah. I had one that said stone. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, I was so close to doing it, but I was like, nah. Pick up and read tutorial card seven on top of the whatever deck. Sweet. Uh, sweet deck. Personality tokens. Most choices you make in Fog of Love can be aligned or misaligned with your character's personality. You keep track of your choices by placing personality tokens on the central area of the board. This is these, I assume. Mm -hmm. Let's see. It contains six personality dimensions. These right here. Look at uh, second camera. <laughs> uh, each camera, with camera two, get a shot at it. Camera two. Camera, camera two. Camera two. Camera, camera, camera two. Camera two. Camera two. Uh, back to camera one. <laughs> Each with two aspects represented by up and down arrows. You track your choices using personality tokens of your color. The points you get are signified by a symbol for personality dimension inside an up or down arrow. Oh, okay, so for uh, it, it's showing me the uh, up with flower one. Mm -hmm. So I would place my token in the up flower. When do we get that when we? I'm, not, I'm um, pretty sure, like, when we get it, cards will get them. Also, I'm not sure yet, but I think these are going to be added to it. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, pick up and read the tutorial cards 8 and 9 on the sweet deck. So, you get two more cards. There we go. Uh -oh. you got to read 8 and 9. I'll do one. I need to read the next one. You, you read it first. At this point in your character's relationship, you have an almost clean sheet. However, your character's features and occupation have a small impact. Each feature and occupation give you a personality token as indicated by the symbol in the lower right corner of the card. Place four tokens on the relevant aspects on the board. So, um... Wait, oh. so each... Uh, huh? Okay, so we should... Ha so I have, like, there? Oh, place a one on each one of these three. Oh, okay. I have one there. Wait, what do I press if I have an up and a down? I think you have both, right? I guess. I, whatever, they probably canceled themselves out, but... Uh, it says, each feature and occupation give you a personality token as indicated by the symbol. Place four tokens on the relevant aspects. At the end of the game, personality tokens are also the way you fulfill your traits goal. Fulfilling an individual trait goal depends on your balance. This is the difference between a a number of tokens on the relevant uh, related up and down aspect. Oh, okay, I get it. For f fulfilling an individual traits to trait goal uh, depends on your balance. This is the difference between the number of tokens on a related. So you're balanced in what is that? Gent gently, gentleness. Yeah. Well, my so let's say I had a goal in this that was like three of these. I'd have to have personally more in the gentleness than anything else. But like for shared uh, ones, it doesn't matter. We both have to have um, a balance that is that meets that goal. So if you have this on your trade card, three up ones there. Continue to tutorial nine. So if we had <laughs> if we had three of the, oh. you will need three more personality tokens of your own color on the aspect pointing up so then you have on the aspect pointing down. Oh, so you need three more. Yeah, I just need to have three more. So, if, so right now you're 
If you if you have the three up here, you're not doing. Well. Yeah, I'm not doing well. Um, yeah, below is the trait. Yeah, and it shows a scenario that's pretty similar to what mine would be. Huh. Um, with a shared trait goal, you should count the combined balance of both players' personality tokens. So, if um, both of, if either one of us have a discipline goal, right now we have two towards it. Uh, if it's shared, at least. So that's interesting. You're saying if we both have that single goal? I'm saying, well, I mean, let's say that you have one that mm -hmm. is of a discipline, yeah. and it's shared. Then that means right now you have two towards it. I guess I don't know what it means when it says shared. It just means um, individual means it only counts yours mm -hmm. tokens. Isn't your as in it doesn't matter right. what the other person does, and then shared it counts both of ours. So I, both. Yeah, I just don't know where the shared thing comes from. How do we? Oh, look in your traits. It should say below trait goal. It gotcha. Say, one you says go. individual, one says shared. There you go. Figuring it out. All right. That's why I asked question. Next one is pick up and read tutorial ten on the top of the sweet deck. More tutorials. Seventeen more tutorials. Click here for no more tutorials. <laughs> in fog of love. You are representing your characters and acting on their behalf. You are, however, also playing from more of a godlike position, exposing the characters to fun and crazy experiences. You are playing the story as much as you're playing the characters. Right. You can say almost anything, but you can never reveal any of your cards unless specifically told to by the game. So have fun trying to see these three drinks. You can see them. They're for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to show mine to the camera. Oh, I thought you were going to say it with me. No, to the camera. Just so that way, I mean, if anyone's watching now. If anyone's watching. <laughs> you should now choose a name for your character. Oh. Choose a name that is not your own name. Remember, you are playing fictional characters. So think to yourself. Mm. I mean, yeah, I think I got one. But, uh... Now, uh, let's just read ahead. Now, do you, do you want to do full names or just first name? What's easier? Well, I'm going to see what it's okay. Now, take a moment to introduce the characters you have created. Tell each other who your characters are in a few sentences. You should still not tell them about how you met. Okay, now that I need, okay. to, I need to know a little bit about myself. Yeah. Okay. So, um, do we don't tell each other our traits, though. No, no, no. Never tell them. Never tell the other person a trait. But just like describe using this stuff, I guess, right here. And then, yeah, I guess so. And then what we know here, but like, don't be upfront about it. Yeah. All right. Um, uh, I'm just trying to think of a last name. Well, the, wait, wait, wait till I get my stuff. We don't have to do last names. It's easier if we just do first just names. Just first names? Yeah, just okay. first names. Uh, I mean, this is a first name channel, so you know, yeah. just do first names. Um, then it says go on to tutorial 11. So. I guess uh, my... My name is my character's name is Bobby. Oh, yeah. Bobby. He uh, he works security at a. Um, uh, I guess I mean I don't. Yeah, I don't know how much. I don't want to give too. Well, you know what? We can always retcon it. But you know who I see right now is like he does security at a concert uh, house, at, like a, yeah. a, an arena. So like he he loves doing security for like rock shows or like any kind of music really. Um, yeah, and he likes to he likes to party, he likes to hang out. Trying to think of what he noticed about me too. Yeah, I know it's it's fun to look at this because like when I saw that, it's, <laughs> it's, when I saw I, I'm a security guard with a nose piercing, I was like, okay, I gotta be a cool, I gotta be a security guard in a cool place. Well, I'm also a cool guy too because I'm muscular and I wear all fashion clothes. I mean, you're a wedding planner. It's yeah, like, and I'm I'm Jeffrey, but I go by Jeff. Yeah. I'm Jeff. I'm Jay. Oh, I forgot about the <laughs> I was born before that. Me, 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 memes. You're a boy. Wait, wait, wait. wait. How old are you? My name before that meme. Yeah. We, what you we, said you were born. Oh, you were born before it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was born after that. Meme. My name is Jeff. I'm a wedding planner. Mm -hmm. uh, I work under someone for right now. Yeah, I, I feel weird getting too much in the story. Yeah, I it's okay. I get. But I, I like love my job. I do it a lot. I wedding plan. I do. I don't know. Like I'm trying to think. What, like what's too much? Like twelve weddings a month or something like that. I mean, twelve weddings a, uh, That's a, a month is. Maybe it's I'll say crazy. four. <laughs> I'll say four. I'd say four is crazy. One a week, once a week. I'd say one or two a month. I like the way I'm, I like to look good. I'm, I'm old, I wear old fashioned clothes. It's because I'm going to weddings a lot. Yeah. And I hit the gym a lot, apparently. <laughs> That's me, Jeff. Yeah. I'm at weddings or I'm at the gym. I think that much. <laughs> Let's move on. I'm Jeff and Bobby. <laughs> Let's move on. I'm Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Bobby. Hey, how's it going, man? And I'm Jeff. Let's move on. <laughs> Let's move on. Uh, oh, you were telling me to pick up the card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chapters. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't telling Bobby to move on. 
<laughs> Pick up the next five cards in the sweet deck. Woo! Woo! Look at this! Woo! Ah, nasty! Woo! Nasty! <laughs> All right. Hot stuff. Place the chapter cards face down in the chapter's spot. That's right here, Bobby. Right there. Don't call me Bobby. <laughs> Don't call me Bobby. I'm Jeff. You're Bobby. <laughs> no, our character. This is Bobby. That's Jeff. <laughs> My name's Jeff. <laughs> Place the synopsis on the synopsis spot with the overview fi- side facing up. I guess it, Put this that is overview. overview on top. Okay. Um, and ignore any instructions while you play the tutorial. The tutorial will take you through that part. Reveal and place the chapter one card on the play area. Ooh. Ooh. Can we read it? I, I don't know. For now, ignore the bottom of the car- of the chapter card. It's saying reveal and place it, so it's not telling me um, to read it. So Did it say move on to 12? It just said move on to 12. Move on to 12. <laughs> we have so many tutorials. I'm Bobby. Oh, yeah, there's the tur- tutorial cards go up to 30. Woo! <laughs> hey guys, welcome to part five. This should uh, be Fog of Love tutorial. <laughs> love stories and Fog of Love tape. Fog of Fog of Love, not Lug. <laughs> take place. Fog of Lug. <laughs> fog of Love. <laughs> take place over chapters. In this case, three. Uh, <laughs> a chapter takes place like any. Wait. A chapter plays like any other card in Fog of Love. First, read the card out loud. Then sim- simultaneously place... I think we got to turn these crackers over. Uh, first, read the card out loud. Then simultaneously place a secret... Place in secret, select one of the options A, B, C, or D to make a choice. Secretly, uh, select the choice token. Okay. And we're going to reveal it simultaneously. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with, um, so where should we go? That's what chapter one is. You met three friend yesterday. Today you're going on your first date. How do you suggest starting? Wow. We met yesterday, straight to a date. I like this chemistry. I'm up so you don't see which one it is. How do you suggest starting the day? So we met yesterday, we're going on our first date. Yeah, like that's crazy. Uh, choose, so we both get to choose one. A, the classic restaurant date. Get a fabulous lunch, lots of sit-down time to really talk and get to know each other. B, sing karaoke. Do a lot of silly serenades and electrify the room with your favorite song. It's a great way to avoid awkward silences. And C, pretend to be a tourist. Go sightseeing and share your impressions as you enjoy your in- and the attractions in each other's company. Now, in my, my personal wait, choice... Wait, wait, you don't... Huh? Oh, sorry. I said my well, let's talk after. Yeah, we'll talk after. So, so wait, which one? Oh, so we're going to be B or C. Okay, I need to look at my tokens. I picked them up. So. <laughs> Boom. This game is so fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Please select the uh, and reveal it simultaneously. <laughs> Three, Three, two, two one. one. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. <laughs> After we play this game, should we like really? Fun? No. Uh. uh now, res- uh, now resolve the additional effects. Notice you'll get more hearts if your choices match. So we both get. So we match. So you are fully in sync about what to do. Both plus fourteen hearts. Wait, plus fourteen? Fourteen? How do we even? I guess we just start off. We go to the ten, and then we go to four. Yeah, I guess so. D- dude, do, we do that right. Plus fourteen. Did. That seems right to me. It looks like it's... Where are you? Oh. Plus 14, dude. We don't, yeah, don't even look at Sunday morning day. Plus 14. Oh, yeah. Also, we're going karaoke on Sunday morning, so you know our characters are singing <laughs> Sunday morning. <laughs> Who goes karaoke on Sunday morning? Sunday morning. <laughs> random for me. What? When you are done resolving chapter one, pick up and read tutorial card 13 on top of this week. Wait, we haven't done chapter one yet. Okay. Wait, no, that, we just did. That's all of chapter one? Is yeah. It? Oh, it says uh, lengths. Chapter one, length, six cards. We haven't done six cards yet. Okay, wait a minute. So it says, when you're done resolving chapter one, pick up and read. So let me just look at chapter 13. We haven't resolved chapter one yet. We have six cards to go through. It says... The first player, I know, but I don't know what that means. Oh, does it say to ignore that part? 
Didn't it say to ignore the bottom? It says... Oh, yeah, it did, is it? It says, um... First, read the card... Let me read this one. Uh, for now, ignore the bottom of the chapter card. So, so we ignore we, the bottom of the so chapter what did we card. Do, did we resolve chapter Yeah, one? we resolved it. I mean, once we did that, we resolved it, I guess. That seems, technically. Weird. That seems weird. The first player draws three sweet scenes, one serious scene, one drama scene. Then... The other player does the same. Look through your cards and notice there are two kinds of scenes. Okay, so... You're going to have to read that again. Draw three sweets. Uh, two. Three. And then draw a serious and a drama. Uh, uh, drama. And then I do the same. One, two, three. It's weird because sweet one. sweets is a deck and drop mix. And it, every time we can talk... Oh, look, it matched up perfectly. Ah! Second camera! Second camera! Oh, camera what are you doing, Camera, camera Joe? Joe? Camera Joe! Put your ass in the game. You guys can't see it, but Eric up there running the camera, man. What are you doing? Know. Well, it was a bad idea to pick a guy off the street on his way to elementary school. <laughs> to, to do this. Well, I don't know what he was going to do at that elementary school, so I'm glad we stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I think he was going to go learn, right? Uh, he, was, all right. he was eight. So, there are two kinds of scenes. <laughs> you'll notice. Both choose or partner chooses. So, uh-huh. so let me look, look real quick. Yes, I see that. Oh, that's cool. So, on the both choose cards, you have already experienced this on the first chapter card. It says both choose. You've already experienced this on the first chapter card. Oh, okay, because we, we both... It's saying uh, the both choose, we've both experienced this already. That's what that, that's uh, what that is. That's what the both choose is. It's when so we, we're saying we've already experienced the both choose. Yeah, that. we've already ex- experienced that. Does it that. say to put the token back? No, yes, it does. Take it back. Because we're going to use it in case we, have, in case we use another in case both we choose. another both choose. Partner chooses. These play almost like both choose scenes, except the person playing the scene is asking the other player to choose, and thus won't make a choice themselves. <laughs> yeah, we got that. Uh, <laughs> with a few exceptions, a turn in the game works like this. The player, whose turn it is, selects a scene from their hand and plays it. Then, either their partner or both choose, uh, make a choice, and then the effects of the card are resolved. After this, the other player's turn uh, plays a scene, and the turn continues back and forth. Okay. So, read uh, card 14. Oh, okay. So basically what it's saying is a turn is normally going to happen where, like, since you're first, you'll play a card, we'll decide, and then I'll play a card, and then we'll decide, and we'll, like... And we're working towards our traits and our relationship. Yes. Kind of. So, like, we're creating the story, so, like, I mean, we do have these traits, and, of course, our character's goals are to commit these traits, but, like, we're also creating a story together, so... Did it say not to do anything to go on this Yeah, just say go to that one. On the cards in the game... The players can be referred to in various ways. Player and partner. Player is always the player who played the card. Partner is always the player who did not play the current card. You understand? Player means you, partner means me. Okay, yeah. It should say say on the bottom, or maybe not. What? I don't know. Whether they're sweeter. I don't know. Okay, Uh, choose and other. Chooser is always referring to the player who made the particular choice. Other is always referring to the other player than the one who made the previous choice. Okay. So, if, if, if I have a card that says partner choose, mm-hmm. you become the chooser. Just so you know. This yeah. means that on a both choose card, both players will be the chooser and their respective, and their respective choices and other means the other places chooses. Okay. Pick up and read tutorial cards 15, 16, 17. <laughs> Alright. 15. Let's go one at a time. Alright. Playing. Chapter 1. We are almost 40 minutes into this thing. Good lord. Uh, when a player... I'm going to have to put tutorial in the title. Yeah. When a player uh, plays a scene... Well, I mean, we're having fun here, right, guys? We're having fun. We're having, but... we're having fun. Put in the comments. Put in the comments you're having fun. Put it in the comments now. So you're having fun. And you, you know what? Screw it. Disable comments. <laughs> no I... giveaway for you guys this no time. No giveaways. No giveaway. No giveaway. No, you really did. You didn't say you had fun and now you lost your giveaway. Giveaway. 
I'm being possessed by the spirit of giveaways. We'll just put the we'll just take the Ford back to the dealership they were gonna give away. Uh wait, what? <laughs> they screwed up. Gerald Ford's <laughs> going back to the dealership. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing. Let's get through this. Um we're halfway through. When a player plays a scene. Oh we're halfway through. through. Oh, oh. Playing Fog of Love. Whoa, whoa. Take my token. Put it on start. <laughs> when a player plays a scene. You did a good impression of the guitar, though. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I didn't know that was a guitar. It's the guitar with that the tube that goes in there. Oh. Wow, wow. They're like blowing in it. Yeah. It's weird. Uh, when a player plays a scene. And they place it on top of the last played scene, or chapter, in the play area. Place it on the lower part of the last scene of the chapter card remains. Is this visible. supposed to start up here? So, yeah, we'll start up here. Okay. So that way, so it always goes. Wait. Um, I feel like it's supposed to start here. I don't know, dude. We'll yeah, yeah I think we go up. Read the scene out loud. When resolving a scene, go through these steps. The affected player, players make their choice. Um, the choices you've made will have aspect icons, uh, you know, the little arrows and such, mm -hmm. um, to the right of them. Place your personality tokens on the corresponding places on the board to your choice. And uh, yeah, once you've made your choices, this means that in a partner chooses scene, it only it's only the choosing partner who gets the personality tokens. So if I play a card for you to choose, you're the only one that gets to place tokens. Oh, so whoever chooses gets tokens. So it's kind of beneficial, I guess, to do both if you can. Um, let's see. The resolve the effects of the choices you've made and resolve any additional effects if there are any. Continue to card 16. I don't think we have any effects. On, I mean, on mine. Remember to adjust your satisfaction on your character card. Satisfaction. If a scene asks you to reveal something, you should show that card to the other player and then hide it again. You listening? No, I'm sorry. If a scene asks you to reveal something, you should show that card to the other player and then hide it again. Okay. If a scene asks you to discard one or more scenes, you always discard them face down unless instructed otherwise. Got it. Use the discarded pile next to the sweet deck. Then draw one or more scenes until your hand reaches five scenes. So your hand should always have five hand should always have five scenes. If somehow you already have five or more scenes in your hand, you will not draw any additional scenes. I guess the question is, do we? Is there a certain amount of which kind of scene, or do we get to pick? I don't know. Ooh, that's interesting. I, I don't know. I don't know. It might tell you what. It, it'll probably tell us. <laughs> yeah, it's just discard from Brody 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 There's a child on the bike up Brody Brody Stop the presses Brody stop It's no one In the first chapter you you may only draw from the sweet deck You got that? Yes you first chapter already broken that rule apparently after, tuto after the tutorial card, playing three. I don't know what that means. I guess it wants us to, to know. After the tutorial card, playing three. Is that like a name of a tutorial card? Yes, that's the name of the next one. After the tutorial card, playing three, you can begin... Oh yeah, this is playing two hours. Yeah. Right you can begin to play as previously described. You just need one more rule and you are set. Some scenes may ask you to change something, usually a trait. When you are changing, you will you will either randomly on the next card. Oh, randomly or by choice, depending on the scene, discard one of your traits, features, occupations. Oh my God, we can trade our traits halfway through the game. That's crazy. Which one? These are our, these are the traits. No, these are features, features. Yeah, and these, these are, are traits, occupations. These are features. Dude, halfway through the game, I could lose my job. <laughs> oh no! But you have the nose ring that goes. <laughs> it goes perfectly with my security <laughs> uniform. I have it like I'm pretty sure my nose ring has like a um, it has a baton on it. <laughs> oh, I pictured it here. I pictured a side. I pictured a septum piercing. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. Uh, first, put the discarded uh, put the discarded card face down under the relevant deck. Then draw three new cards of the relevant type. And place one of them. The left of the cards are placed. So if we 
have to replace one of these, we draw three to choose from. Oh. Yeah, so we at least we get to choose. Changing a feature or an occupation will impact your personality tokens. Remove the tokens provided by the discarded card and add a new token for the new card. So if I lose my security guard job, I have you to take my, my discipline token. Yeah. You know everything needed to play. <laughs> Do we? But to summarize, the first player chooses a scene and places the scene in the play area so both uh, players can read it. Either the partner or both par uh, players make a choice, resolve the scene, and draw one or more scenes until you have five scenes in hand. Unless you are told otherwise, you can only draw scenes from the sweet deck when it is the next player's turn. And then it is the next player's turn. So now, starting with the first player, play scenes and turn until you encounter a tutorial card. So it says, uh, unless you are told otherwise, draw... Uh, so it's only draw from the sweet deck. Yeah. So after you play one, you always you draw another one. So you just keep you always have five yeah. in your hand. When so does then, chapter one end then? I guess it ends. It says, it just says keep going until um, we encountered a. Uh, I'm guessing there's another. Tutorial. This is another tutorial card that like tells us, hey, you've gone too far. So I get to go first. Right. Here we go. Here's the money, everybody. Um, so are we on a date in the karaoke? I don't really know. Oh, this is linked six cards. Does that mean anything? Uh, it, it's probably gonna maybe when we get there, it'll probably tell us. Yeah, right well, now, well, until we encounter until we encounter a tutorial card, we're just gonna keep yeah. playing scenes, I guess. So let me look through and see. So I'm supposed to look at what's supposed to help me. I get. I mean, you can play it like that. I'm also looking at these scenes to look really cool. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna play this. So yeah. To get, so what do these do? Um, those. That's how. Satis that's how satisfied we are. But what does that matter? So the more satisfied we are, I guess, like, just the better. See, that's what I don't understand. So that's the thing. We're not, like, we're not supposed to understand. We're just supposed to play what they're okay. um, telling us so far. Okay. I'm gonna, I guess I'll just read this out loud. Mm -hmm. Breakfast in bed. <laughs> Doesn't seem like something <laughs> like... You put it down. Uh, I just wanted to read it. I can okay. read it like this. Close your eyes. In a minute, you'll get everything your heart desires. Both choose. What is the player serving... And what does the partner hope to be served? I'm guessing we had sex last night. <laughs> I'm giving you, I'm giving you breakfast in bed. Cause like, uh, let me. Read we we met yesterday. Let's have sex. <laughs> okay. That's fine. I Give guess. Me breakfast in bed. Okay. So what? The, so did. you are the partner. I am the player. So I'm. I am giving you right. breakfast in bed. Am I giving you a soft boiled egg? A slice of bread with fresh butter, oatmeal, and some strawberries. Ooh. B. Chinese breakfast noodles. C. Creme brulee French toast. Or D. Baked beans, scrambled eggs, bacon, and sausage. Remember, think of your character, not think of you. Oh, yeah. Think of your character. Think of Bobby. What would Bobby? What would Bo what's Bobby want? I know what Bobby wants. <laughs> what would Bobby want? And what would? Yeah. So I'm preparing you something. So three, two, one. One. Oh! Uh, yeah. Dude. So we, these boys. We match. So we both go up two. So we're, we're, we're at sixteen. Six. Sixteen. And I'm then guess. And then yeah. do you go? Uh yeah. Then I go. All right. Let's see. So, I, yeah, again, I don't know why we need to be satisfied. Why do you, uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Be honest. Do they fit me? Do you think these pants fit me? <laughs> <laughs> That's something Bobby would be doing. How, do, how does the partner reply, and what does the player prefer? So... Do they fit just perfect? Uh, to be honest, not really. Or they do, but I'm not sure you really like them. They're not really your style. Too plain, perhaps. So I'm asking you. Wait, one second. Okay, there's no arrows on this one. Yeah, so I'm asking you. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah, there's no arrows. I was just, you're asking me if the pants fit. If my pants fit. <laughs> and, I'm, and you're going to have to make sure you give me the right answer. Okay. Yeah, and make sure you give Bobby the right answer. Think, remember, it's Bobby. <laughs> is, we've made the weirdest relationship. This is great. Alright, three, two, one. Oh, oh no! 
So uh, I guess you get. Uh, so you gotta put your tokens there, and I'll put mine there. Wait, do we have to? We didn't. Oh, so what? What we said? We were choosing those. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'll go back and double check it. Oh, I didn't know that. So it says, the choices you've made have aspect icons to the right of them. Place your personality tokens at the corresponding places on the board. So, yeah, regardless of whether or not we, we won, oh, you still put the tokens there. Okay, so, I'm, I'm, so I picked A, so I'm down here, and then up here. Ooh, and we only get... No, we, no, we, we lose one. Ooh. We're down to 15. What did you say to me? You said perfect fit. Yeah, they They're a perfect fit. I mean, I also didn't see the pants. I know. <laughs> How did they wear a perfect fit? What did you pay? They do, but not... <laughs> they do. And welcome back. Whoa! Sorry if there was an empty. Camera died. Camera died. Behind the scenes magic. Behind the scenes. Behind the scenes magic. So uh, we, we just finished, to be honest, where Brett told me that my pants fit me, and I guess that's the nice way to answer. That's a nice answer. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, close your eyes. You don't have to do it. Can you guess where I'm taking you? Uh, player, select where you're going, and partner tries to guess where it is that I'm taking Ooh, you. Ooh, this is good. Am I taking you to a secret party with famous people and champagne? Am I taking you to? I don't know. I lost track of where we were going. Or am I taking you to the local square to listen to st to street story to a local square to listen to street storytellers' sentimental love stories? Jesus. So, where am I taking you? Where am I taking? Alright, I got my answer. So we're supposed to be kind of taking the traits into consideration, right? Yeah. I, I'm taking it into consideration, but I like it's also like... Where's Bobby want to go, man? Where's Bobby want to go? Okay. Alright, ready? Three, two, one. Hey! Yeah! We both want to hear a love story. So we both move up to, so we're at 17. And then, of course, put a token. Oh, on the sun? Or sens yeah. sensitivity. Sens sensitivity! <laughs> oh, and then look, we're at a tutorial card. Oh. So I guess I'll read that. Draw it. Since I was supposed to draw it. Yeah. Situations. A situation is another type of scene. You play a situation on your turn. Unlike most scenes, they usually don't have any choices on them. Instead, they affect what happens immediately. A situation will also have an effect on the next scene that is played, often influencing the effects on the cards. This carryover effect is marked on with the following icon. It's like an arrow going mm -hmm. up. Two situations can be played right after each other, but only, only the most recent one will have the effect. Situations are are played in the played area, like most other cards. Mm -hmm. The icon above is used whenever the carryover effect is not just for situations. The, it serves as a reminder when playing the scenes in the play area. Continue taking turns, play scenes until you encounter tutorial card 19. Pick it up and then read it. So I still need another scene. Yeah, so I guess the next one's going to be a situation. So when we get a situation, you play it immediately? Or like, what's... Or is it just... It says, if I play it, there's no choice. Like, no choices to be made. Ah. It just affects the next what, uh, scene, which, which is what you will play. Also, your... Um, yeah, no, I was going to say your uh, uh, satisfaction should be an 8, because I realize yours is the same as mine, but you didn't lose one here. Only I did. Oh. This is player. Does it say player? Yes, yeah, it's player. Oh. So that means, like... I'm a little more satisfied. You're a little bit more satisfied. I mean, your sa our satisfaction is out of 10, uh, 17. It's so not out of 10. I know, but it's, it's like, we don't know what it means yet, so... Um, it's my turn, I guess. I guess it's my turn. What's the new one I got? I, I did get a situation, and I see what they're talking about. If that makes sense. Hmm. 
Okay. Photo, photo of us together. <laughs> this is, I just don't see Bobby and Jeff doing this type of stuff. But What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like all the cards, not the ones yeah, we're picking. Yeah. Exactly. So it's like, so we're out at the park or whatever, and we're watching people, like, tell stories, and it's like, oh, let's get a picture together now that we're here. So it's like, what do you want to do? We could, uh, you, uh, okay, yeah, I could hold you up from behind. I say, you could hold me tight from behind. We could face each other and hold hands and smile, or we can jump up in the air while holding hands. That's the thing, is that it's also funny, because, like, um... This is a first date, so it's like... Well, no, I think this is chapter, so I think, like, I don't think this is all simultaneously. I oh. think just in this chapter of our relationship, this stuff is happening. Sure. I don't think this is all happening on Sunday morning. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm gonna fucking die if we keep doing it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna explode. Uh, I think um, I got my answer. <laughs> Ready? Oh, three, two, one. Oh. So, so we did not match. You wanted to hold me from behind. Yes. And I was like, we'll do a jump in the air while holding the <laughs> fun thing. So, so, that's okay. So <laughs> we didn't match, so we both lose one. Is that what it says? Yeah, that's the additional effects. Is we didn't match, so. Choose what is it? Oh. Yeah. So we lost one. And then... Is it both? Yes, yeah. yeah, it's both. And then... Oh, and then I get a sun... I keep calling that a sun. I get more sensitivity. And that's all that happens, right? Yep. So we lost... Man, just because... We, we couldn't agree on how to take a picture. We get less satisfied with the picture, with our relationship? I guess so. Just bottom down. Yeah, because like... It's like those little things that like kind of chip away and like kind of make you think that oh maybe we're not meant to be you know. Oh. Then again, we don't know if we're friends or if we're. I mean, we had sex, but <laughs> 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 oh. we don't know what our characters are yet. Oh. Well, to, add, oh. to add a little bit of drama to Ooh, that I like story. This. Who is he? <laughs> I saw you intently. With someone, yet. I saw you talking intently with someone yesterday. Who was that? Was it A, that colleague from work? We, uh, this is, oh, this is just you choosing. Okay. I saw you intently talking to someone. Is it A, that, was it a colleague from work? We discussed the project that's in trouble, as you already know. Your security joke. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the security project, dude, the security, <laughs> on, the security on the new, uh, Guar show is just not going on. Or it's B, Hmm, that couldn't have been me. I went straight home from the office. Fucking lying. I'm lying. Or <laughs> C, that was my ex. I thought he had left town. It was a big surprise. Or D, I don't want to talk about this now. It was nothing. So this is just you choosing. Oh, and then I get to read tutorial 19. Oh, man. I guess... It, oh... This is interesting. It's how Bobby... I mean, you can put a... You can still make a choice. I guess. No, I'm just... I'm trying to figure out, like, like how we're supposed to, like, do our trade goals. And I guess something I, I'm just realizing is that, like, you want to play, try to play cards that kind of, like, help both people. But it's, like, also, how can you know the other person's traits? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. You can just help yourself here. For what, was a, what was it? What was it? So, who was it? Who was it? Who was Who were you talking to, Bobby? <sighs> J Jay. <laughs> Jeff, come say on. Say my name like the meme. <laughs> say, say my meme. Say my meme. Uh, who was he? Answer me. Who was he? Shut up. <laughs> Bobby. Shut up. Bobby, who was he? Come on. Uh, all right. I'm going to say... Uh, I'm going to say... Could have been me. <laughs> could have uh, been huh, it couldn't have been me. Could I would not have been me. straight home from the security guard office. Yeah, we have an office. <laughs> Jeff, you know this. <laughs> Jeff, you know we have an office. Right, what, am I, what am I gonna do? We're gonna sit in my sit on my hands all day? <laughs> I'm gonna read the next tutorial. Oh, Thank I you. bet you will. <laughs> in the beginning, all the different elements 
in the game can be overwhelming. Consider these things. Fulfilling your traits at the end of the game will increase your satisfaction, while failing to do so will lower it. Take a look at your personality tokens, and then think what will fulfill your traits. Whatever. What? Are our, what? Oh, yeah. So it, oh, here? Yeah, these are personality tokens. Do you think... Take a look at your person... Do you think you can fulfill your traits? Okay. Yeah. I've got a pretty good shot. If I, think I, I think I do, too. Continue taking turns playing scenes until you encounter tutorial 20. One. When you see it, pick it up and read it. No, no crap. <laughs> Who would have thought? If we see the next tutorial, we should pick it up and read it. I need another scene. Man, and we're just going to keep playing. Like, it says six cards, but I guess just keep going. It says we keep playing until we... I mean, why put it at the bottom if we're just going to keep playing? Whatever. Who cares? I think, I think yeah, if we weren't doing the tutorial, we would we would move over chapter two. Yeah. So I... we haven't hit six yet, but we only have five. So it's my turn. Oh, you want to you wanna do drama. <laughs> we're trying to make a story, right? Right. Oh, yeah. We're trying to make a story. We're trying to work on a relationship and make our... And, like... Think about ourselves. It is like life, I guess. It's like life. The life you don't really make a story that much. You're not worried. About, you're not worried about. I'm not your, worried about the narrative. You're not worried about your narrative when you try to pick out who, where to how to take a picture. <laughs> you're you're at the beach trying to take a picture. Like, how will this help the, the story? Here's a good one, Jeff. What's your most treasured memory? What's my most treasured memory? Yeah. I don't know what the red letter tell means. A tell some. Tell something. I, I mean, I guess you you have to make I it. I have to do it. Okay. Yeah. So tell something about your loving parents. Tell me something about great times with your friends. Tell me something about your accomplishments, or tell me something about your first love. Oh, my first love. Oh, look, there's twenty right there. See, it's like they planned it out, and that would be six, wouldn't it? Uh, well, no, because I still have to go. And yeah, you still have to play one. Um, Unless we lied, we did a cheat. Tell something about my accomplishments. I'll do that. I'll do... Um, I have to pick it. Yeah, you gotta pick it. I'm picking C. Whoa, about your accomplishments. And Whoa! I, and then one goes here, right? Yeah, you're so disciplined. <laughs> Jeff. Jay. That's I, what I bought. Well, me. I will tell you something about my accomplishments. Yeah, tell me something about your accomplishments. Well, when I was wedding planning... There... <laughs> Which wedding? Huh? Oh, uh, the... What couple? <laughs> The Tonka, t Tonka <laughs> Timber <laughs> The wedding. Tonka Timber wedding. Oh, I remember. <laughs> Jessica Tonka and Timothy Timber. <laughs> we, we're a first name family, but that's fine. <laughs> so, you asked me which wedding. I know. It's okay. It's okay. We're, it's, it's, a joke. it's a joke. So, well, that's what was the accomplishment. I had to make, they put me in charge of the invitations. And there was so many T's on them. I was just like, it just looked gross. So yeah. I worked all night and I got the invitations to look they look so great. People cried looking at these invitations. Oh my god, that's so yeah. wonderful. It was one of the best weddings. And what happened was, the photographer dropped out, and I picked up the camera and started doing it myself. And that's when you started shooting. Kids? <laughs> no, no. That's very funny, Jeff. <laughs> that's a great joke. Uh, that is yeah. when I started yeah, shooting. That's when weddings. I picked up. I'm a wedding planner, not a wedding photographer. You're a wedding shooter also. <laughs> Stop going. Yes, yeah, so that's one of my biggest scouts. That's very nice. So should I read it now or should I put a scene? I mean, because I have six cards. I mean, how many cards do you have in your hand? Five. Okay, then no. Let's just, you don't want to read it? I mean, yeah, whatever. Let's read, Let's it. read it. Let's read it. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, they're breaking into our house! The people who made, Hush Hush, uh, who made this? Hush Hush Project? They're breaking into the house because we're breaking uh, the rules. I'm so confused. It said when we see it, look, what does it say? It says, continue uh, taking turns until you encounter tutorial 20. When you see it, pick it up and read it. See? Oh! See? See? And guess what it says? What's it say? A new chapter. Ah! You should You should now be ready to continue to chapter 2. A chapter influences the cards you can draw. In the lower right corner are the icons of the... Dip In the lower right corner are the icons of different scene decks. This is how you can tell what, uh, which deck you may draw from. Ooh. The current chapter says draw from circle, which is sweet. This one says draw from square, which is serious. That's serious. Dude, chapter two is going to be serious. Do I discard these? I don't know. Let me see. The icon has no impact on which cards you may play. It's just which cards you draw. 
Ooh. All of the all bo uh, at the bottom of the cards, you'll find the length of the chapter illustrates length XX cards. So that's in six, and that's what we did. Yeah. What does that one say? This is going really well. No, mm. what's the sorry on the bottom? The length. Oh, six. six. So six again. Once the number of scenes plays out, reaches that number, the chapter ends, and the next chapter card is revealed. Count the scenes you have played so far in this chapter. By now, you've probably reached the length of the chapter. If not, play scenes from how you have. Before revealing and resolving chapter two, pick up and read the next tutorial card, chapter 21 in the series. So before we do? Yeah, it's in X. It's I'm, before resolving it. I was like, have we even got to resolve Yeah, we'll, we'll resolve it in a second. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these back. Right, so I should read, or do you want, you want to read next? No, well, first I'm going to put these. Well, first we have to resolve it. What do we have to resolve? This. Yeah, right. so. 